Hello everyone. I want to talk about something which has happened very recently. We all are aware that OpenAI is one of the leading AI companies in the world. And now, after years of keeping its models closed, OpenAI is stepping back into open source. This move isn't just symbolic. It's going to change a lot for developers, businesses and researchers worldwide. But you may ask the question, open source, why now? And here's why. Over the last few years, we have seen very powerful open source models from multiple companies like we have seen Llama from Meta, we have seen Mistral, we have seen Quen, the recent launch Quen3 Coder from Alibaba and we have seen DeepSeek which launched the Arvind model which outperformed all the other reasoning models when it launched. So all these models are showing that open source can rival the closed systems. So overall, there are three major reasons why OpenAI is going open again. First one is demand. The demand has changed. Developers and companies want self-hosted models that they can trust without paying for every single API call. The competition is there. We have talked about models like Llama, Quen and DeepSeek. And then the mission of OpenAI. By releasing the open weight models, OpenAI has strengthened its mission of ensuring AI benefits everyone. So overall, these are the major reasons and that is why OpenAI, the company that went close after GPT-2, has returned with GPT-OSS, the first open weight model in years. And this could reshape the future of AI. So let us discuss what the chat GPT's OSS models are and how you can use it. Now, one thing about open source models is that it is better for privacy because your data is in your system. So multiple companies prefer using the open source models and that has pushed OpenAI to launch an open source model, which is GPT OSS. So what is GPT OSS? It's a family of two models, the GPT OSS 20 billion and GPT OSS 120 billion. If we talk about this one, there are about 21 billion parameters optimized for efficiency and able to run on devices, uh, the low end devices, which has like 60 GBs of RAM. So if your system have this much RAM, you can run it, but still it might not work properly. This is the minimum requirement. If you have uh, better than that, then it will work perfectly. Then comes the bigger model, the GPT OSS 120 billion. There are total 117 billion parameters. This is closer to the state of the art reasoning models designed for single high end GPUs with around 80 GBs of virtual RAM required. So it's a bigger model and this one is a little compressed models. So both use mixture of experts architecture. This means only a subset of parameters activate per input. This makes them lighter to run without sacrificing the performances. And if I give you an analogy of mixture of experts, it's like having a team of 100 great minds, but you don't need all of them for one particular job. You only need those that are expert in that particular field. So every task uh, is of different domain, is of different uh, speciality. So you will only go to those that are specialized in that domain. In the similar way, the mixture of expert architecture works. We only fire or we only use those parameters that are required for that particular task. That's the similar analogy. Now, if you talk about this total 128K context window, which means that you can give huge documents, even books, PDFs and all. So uh, it's a huge context window is there. And one more thing is that it is launched under Apache 2.0 license. Now, this is important because it will allow everyone to use this model, modify it and even commercialize it with minimal restrictions. So this is also very important. Now, let's have a look at the technical perspective. Technically, GPT OSS is impressive. The 128K context window is enough for entire book or long research papers. It offers MXFP4 quantization, which makes it efficient to run on smaller hardware. GPT OSS also provide access to their internal chain of thoughts, which helps in reasoning and allow analysis and debugging. 
it have the agentic abilities which adds browsing function calling and code execution additionally it also supports fine tuning so businesses can adapt it to their industries and to make things easier open ai has partnered with ulama ulama lowers the technical barrier so instead of complex installations you get a simple setup with quantization function calling and web search built in and that makes gpt oss accessible to startups developers and even hobbyists and not just big labs with clusters of gpu so you can simply visit ulama if you already have it that's good otherwise you can set up ulama or you can visit other open source platforms like together ai so if i have to show you here i'm on my browser i'll just use ulama and visit the ulama website now you can download and set up ulama from here but you can also check the models the available models and now you can see at the top you will find gpt oss because this is the new release so you can simply click on gpt oss and set up it using this simple command using ulama so firstly you have to download and install ulama in your system and then you can simply run this command and gpt oss will be available to you now you can see the size uh, 14 gb 14 gb and 65 gb this is the 120 billion parameters model and this is the 20 billion parameters model both these have 128k context size which means 128k tokens can be used in the input and it will be used in the text form now if you have to set up in your local machine the minimum requirement for 20 billion models is 16 gigabits of memory if you do not have that much ram it will not work and even with 16 gigabits of ram the model will work slow so if you want faster execution and faster results you have to have a better system and that is what is with me i do not have a better system so i might not be able to use it locally but i can try it by using other platforms like together ai or the hugging face so i'll just show you that you can simply go to your browser and type gpt oss after that you can use the hugging face or together ai and both platforms will work so i'll use hugging face and once i done that you can see gpt oss 120b on the hugging face and i can just uh, go down and just click on this try gpt oss once i click on that continue visible reasoning or don't show the reasoning if you want that you can simply use i can just go for the continue reasoning all right so now here you can try the gpt oss model you also get the option to download these models for example if i click here you will get the option if you wanted to directly download using hugging face olama or lm studio you can use these platforms to set it up uh, locally in your laptop or your computer but we don't have uh, that much computation so you can simply try it here like for example hi i'll just send a message and you can see the reasoning model is working it's thinking and now hello how can i help you today it's a message so i will not show you how it works i'll leave it totally for you you can try the model and see its capabilities how it's working you can set up the reasoning levels to low medium or high if you have a question that requires high reasoning you can set it to high if you have a question that requires minimum reasoning or no reasoning simply set it to low uh, it will give you faster answers so that is what it is and moving back to the presentation now let's talk about the use case or the business applications of the new gpt oss model for those with data privacy concerns it can be deployed on premise so your data will be safe you can also perform domain specific fine tuning on it you can use it for healthcare law finance and many more it is cost effective so small businesses can use it and it allows you agentic workflow which is not present in other open source models now there are various other applications also you will find them out once you try and use it now what will be the conclusion the open ai's return to open source is more than just another model release it is a signal that the future of ai will be built on both closed and open systems each with a role to play gpt oss puts powerful and transparent ai directly into the hands of community the real change will come from how the developers businesses and researchers put it to their work so this was all about the new gpt oss model if you find the video interesting hit the like button if you have any questions comment down 
and also share the video with your friends. So that's all in this video. Like, share and subscribe.